we encourage honest opinions on this channel, so continue watching if you're ready for some. Grab some popcorn and some no offense taken juice and let's start. Listen, I was so excited about this song and album that I even bought it pre-release because I loved the teaser picture so much. Look at these beauties. Anyway, when the song actually came out, I didn't really love it as much as I thought I would. I even forced myself to listen to it multiple times to like it, which you'll know I never ever do, so I was committed to liking this song. Sadly, it just never happened. Listen, it's a very cute song, and it's nice to hear once in a while maybe, but it's not something that I'll keep coming back to every week. Very very forgettable release in my opinion. Contrary to popular opinion, I absolutely loved Butter and Dynamite so I was beyond excited when they announced the new single, Permission to Dance. Well, I saw half the video and had to pause it because I really really dislike the song. It kind of sounds like a knockoff dynamite to me. If you pay close attention they even reuse the nanana parts. Listen to this. I mean, the least y'all can do is change the hook. All in all, it was a pretty disappointing comeback for me. It hurts me to say shit about a Sunmi release, but it must be said anyway. The video popped off. It was a literal masterpiece. The old school zombie movie vibes and the 2000s aesthetic was so iconic. However, coming to the song, I like the instrumental, but the singing sounded off to me. I don't know how to explain it. I also really dislike the random English thrown in for no reason. What was the point of that terrible English rap? This song definitely didn't disappoint me as much as the rest of these, but it still let me down. To be honest, I haven't really loved any of Somi's previous releases, but I still had some pretty high expectations for this one. The teaser looked great, and I was so ready to be wowed with this Somi comeback. Turns out, it was too stale for me. As usual, YG never disappoints with their music videos, and I really enjoyed this one. It's one of those music videos that just give you pure serotonin, so I appreciate it. What is up with this song though? Look I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. The perfect way to describe this song would be meh. I definitely like this a lot better than Birthday, but it was just why I too short for no reason. It was just an average, run-of-the-mill type of song that I'll just forget in a few months. I feel so bad for adding this song to this list, especially because this was with Chen, Dio and Lei, but the song majorly disappointed me. The budget for the music video was, how's a nice way to put it, economical. Definitely not their best music video, that's for sure. The song to be very honest, wasn't terrible, but it's the definition of forgettable. I can't even remember how this song goes, and it's been like barely three weeks since I last heard it. The lay cameo was so badly taken I genuinely felt like sobbing, both out of laughter and sadness. The music was just fine, it's a fine summer song, and that's all I can say about it. Also, the Kwang Ya mention made me giggle mayo, 